My name's Danny Mellor. I'm an artist and my family is originally from North Queensland. My father's family are from Mackay and my mother's Aboriginal family are from the Cairns region and the Atherton Tablelands, the Nudgeon and Mamu people. The work that I make is based in landscape and I work across painting, photography, drawing and sculpture. I am often out in the field photographing and bringing those images to exhibition. So my work and my practice is very rounded in the way that I respond to environments, to ecologies, and also the landscapes that I visit and walk through. It's important I've always found to bring images back from those spaces and, and show them to talk about how important environment is. It's also very important to understand that there's a cultural layering and a deeply embedded knowledge from First Nations people that's always present in landscape and it's something that I always try and bring into the conversation around my work. The artwork that I make, it's a, it's a very exciting process to be involved at this stage, particularly when thinking about the space as an architectural space that people will be walking through. Many thousands of people each day will be coming into that space and seeing a landscape which stretches above them. And what I hope is that the impact of that reminds people of the ancientness of this space and how important the country is to First Nations culture. It's also a reminder as well of the different kinds of people that are now here in the city, the different heritage that, that we all bring to this space. So as an artist, I find it a really exciting project to consider partly due to its scale, but also it's a challenge in terms of its production as well. The scale itself is something which is presenting some interesting thinking around how to translate images into 12 metre and landscapes and to actually begin to think about how people will respond to what are effectively giant examples of flora. Very exciting to consider how the artwork will impact passers-by and people coming into the station and walking past on Swanston Street. The scale, the lighting, the colour, the way that it retells a, a particular story of ancestral presence and the way it highlights the importance of people in a space of country is one thing which I think will give something extra to the work and by that I mean it adds a, a layer of story to those that are already told and held as oral histories. What I'm making is a representation of that through a pictorial history of the space.